Hello, good people, and welcome to Singing Dawn. I'm Ellen, and I'm so glad you're here for this daily chant practice in the Benedictine spirit. Today is day 62, Symbols. So come on in, sit down, settle yourself in, and I'd invite you to maybe today use a little humming to unite and enliven your body, your breath, and your awareness. Just send that hum around your body. Different places, different pitches, check it out. You might also wanna put your palm up close to your mouth and hum. Feel the vibrations on your lips and see if you can feel the vibrations on the palms of your hand. So be welcome and have some fun. Bright morning stars arising. Bright morning stars arising. Bright morning stars arising. Day is a breaking. So today we are going to travel deeper into Singing Dawn with the image of symbols. An entire line of this very short Psalm 150 is dedicated to this one image. Think of those big orchestral symbols. Listen in your imagination for the clash, the crash of those symbols either in an orchestra or in a marching band, in a climactic symphonic moment. Picture that in your mind. And pay attention to how long the body of the symbol sustains that ringing. And pay attention to how complex that sound is pouring out myriad overlapping overtones that wash over you like waves. Notice how the very air is pulsating, dancing with the sound. Notice how those vibrations can make the hairs on your arms stand up on end. They can make your skin tingle. They can make your mind wake up and perception morph as your awareness shape shifts like the aurora borealis, the northern lights. And now, if you would, imagine the very small, delicate Indian finger symbols. Pay attention to how elegant and gentle, yet penetrating their sound is. Notice how that tiny ringing invites you to listen more closely. How it makes you hear the silence rising and falling all around the sound, a subtle, complicated, and gorgeous dance of multidimensional silence around that sound. It brings your mind to a focus as still and precise as the tone itself, fierce and peaceful at the same time. And now I invite you to imagine your body as a symbol. And you can strike the symbol with your voice to set it ringing. Let's just Check that out. Now, you might want to go on an E or an A vowel. E. E. Um, but I encourage you to use different vowels and different pitches and different parts of your body. You could say 
And sometimes it helps to place your hand on the part of your body. Okay, I'm going to send a sound to here. I'm going to strike the symbol of my body. E oh, oh. On my knees. Ah, on the soles of my feet. Ah, on the back of my rib cage. Ah, on my forearm. Just remind you with the symbols how they're solid enough to hold their shape, but they're flexible enough to pick up and amplify vibration. And just so are our bodies. And know this, training our bodies to attune themselves and respond to vibration can be a most powerful enactment of our desire to train our souls to attune themselves and respond to spirit, to the living Holy One. It's not two separate things, these two activities. Not two separate things, it's one thing. So try a line of the psalm now through the lens of setting the body ringing like a symbol. Let's sing it five times in a row. Let's use the phrase, praise, praise God with clashing symbols, with ringing symbols. So you're going to use your voice as if you were striking the body to set the body ringing. Praise, praise God with clashing symbols. With ringing symbols. Let's do it again, a little higher. Praise, praise God with clashing symbols. With ringing symbols. Let's try it higher. Praise, praise God with clashing symbols. With ringing symbols. Go higher. Praise, praise God with clashing symbols, with ringing symbols. As much as possible, I'm putting my awareness into my flesh and um, engaging my flesh with volition to respond to vibration. Up higher. Praise, praise God with clashing symbols, with ringing symbols. One more time, higher still. Oh, oh let's go up here. Praise, praise God with clashing symbols, with ringing symbols. So you've probably noticed by now that the different pitch levels uh, work better for different things. The higher vibrations you might feel more strongly, but the lower ones you might feel in other parts of your body. And also, if you're not used to doing this, when you're more relaxed with the lower um, pitches, less pressure in the air column, it may help you as you're starting out. So everybody's body is different. Everybody's body is different day to day, so be willing to experiment and flexible. See uh, how best to kindle the fire today. So I wonder whether now you have that one line memorized. Can you hear it in your head? Praise, praise God with clashing symbols, with ringing symbols. So that's probably 10% of the psalm right there. And I just want to remind all of us again that singing by heart frees up mental and spiritual bandwidth for a richer, more nuanced, more curious, and more courageous engagement with the experience 
of chanting. When we don't have to do visual processing of getting from the page into our bodies and then out again, when we just start from within our bodies directly, flesh to spirit, um, it's easier. It's just easier to, to kind of dig in deeper. Okay, so for now, I invite you to just shake all that out. And we're going to move into the full flow of our practice. share the screen. Long breaths in and out through your nose. Bear witness to your flesh. Welcoming in the chant into its very essence, its very core. You can find your blood and muscles and bones and sinews physically, literally reshaping themselves in response to that vibration. And just so, we are reshaped in response to the spirit. Let it sink in, drink in all you want. And as you're ready, open your eyes, open your hands, and as you wish, release the grace of our practice into the world. Thank you so much for showing up today in the chant like ringing cymbals. 
See you tomorrow. Peace.